Hi everyone, it's Beck here for Swirly Do's Kit Club and today I'm going to be showing you how I made this dream catcher where I used the embroidery hoop that came in the April kit Purple Haze. So all I did to start with is I've taken the hoop and I've given it a spray of white gesso just to cover it up. Um, if you haven't used the spray gesso before, um, make sure you do it outside because this, the fumes are quite, are quite strong on that one. Um, the next thing I'm doing is I've taken, it's like a rhinestone trim that came with the December 2015 kit. And I'm taking it just to wrap around my hoop, just to give it, I don't know, some interest and so it's not so plain. You don't have to use a trim like this, you could use some ribbon or some lace. Um, or even leave it plain if, if that's what you liked. So just whatever you have sitting around at home will work perfectly. And I just went around the um, the whole thing. So you need something reasonably long that will go around the whole hoop. So here's what happened when I've finished it. Now to get one for that little piece in between the screw, I've just unscrewed the screw looped a bit of the rhinestone through and then screwed it back together just so I didn't have a bit missing. The next thing I'm going to do is start um, making the netting for the dream catcher. What I've used is just some white embroidery cotton um, only because that's just what I had at home that was like the right thickness uh, but you could use anything twine or string or, or whatever you have. Um, I'm going to speed this up really fast, my um, threading of it. I have put a link in the description box to the video where I learned how to make these. There's, there's quite a lot of different videos and, and posts around on making dream catches, but I'll link the one that I used down below. This is my first attempt at this, so I, I ended up having a bit of a mistake in the middle. I couldn't quite figure out how to finish it off, but I mean, you can't really tell. Maybe next time I'll, I'll do it a lot better. So you just keep going round and round in circles until you get to the middle. It did get a bit fiddly, so I have stopped the camera at some point and I just finished it off off camera. So here is my finished hoop. Um, as you can see, it's not quite perfect in the middle. It, it stops having the, the same kind of pattern, but that's all right. Um, I, still, I still like how it turned out. So what I've got to embellish this is I've taken some of those little wooden butterflies, the Kayser Craft ones, which were in the um, main kit for April, and I've just colored them with the blue fern embossing powder in cotton candy. Um, next I've taken a couple of blue fern um, flourish chipboard pieces and I have coloured those in the blue fern um, embossing powder in, um, oh there we go, it's clear, in sea mist. So that's what colour I use for that, it's a very pretty light teal colour. Um, I'm also going to be using the resin piece which came in the main kit for April, um, some Prima flowers and also I have some feathers which I've just threaded a few beads onto the top of those just for some extra interest. Also I've grabbed a whole heap of lace that I had sitting around. I didn't have any of the teal colour lace so I've just dyed that with the Prima Colour Bloom, Bloom Spray in Soft Teal. So I just did a couple of bits of teal and I've got a few light pink pieces in there and some white ones. They were pretty much all just the in bits of lace or lace I didn't really like very much that I had a big bag full of. So it's a great way to use up stuff like that. Next I started um, by adding the feathers to the um, dream catcher. These are just threaded with the same cotton that I, I made the knitting with. And I'm going to have five feathers and I wanted the one in the middle to be the longest and then go up shorter 
to the sides. As you can see, I didn't quite get the length right on that one, so I just retie it. Um, the feathers that I bought are just um, from like a bargain craft store. They were really cheap, $2 for a whole bag of feathers. So I just picked out the, the bigger ones. And the beads are the same, they're just from the craft store. So you can use any sort of bead you like. Whatever goes with your colour combination. So next I'm going to start with the um, adding all the lace and ribbon. So all I do is I fold it in half and just fold it over the hoop and amongst the little weavings there. I haven't glued these down at all, I've just tied them over. And then if, I thought if I didn't like it at the end I'd move them, but I actually left them the way they were. And I'm just trying to get the colours so I have don't have all one colour together, I have it spaced out a bit in all different types of of ribbons and lace, just so it looks a bit kind of eccentric I suppose. I didn't want it really uniform. So once I was happy with that, um, I started by adding my chipboard flourishes. <clears throat> I'm using hot glue for this. I'm not a fan of hot glue, but for this sort of project, it really is the only thing that works the best. And next is the little resin um, fountain. I actually stuck that on crooked, but then once it dried, I couldn't do much about that, so it's slightly off center. That's alright. My daughter goes it's going in her room. She doesn't seem to mind. <laughs> we won't tell her. And then I just add on some flowers. And next, um, just the little butterflies. So that's all I put on that piece. It was really easy. It took me hardly any time at all. And the only other thing I did too is I added um, a bit more ribbon to the top so I, to, so I could tie it to the wall and a couple more flowers and a little butterfly. And that was it. It was really easy to make and lots of fun and a great use for that embroidery hoop that comes in the kit. So remember if you'd like one of your own kits, head to swirlydoos.com to um, order yours. They're always great and lots of coordination in them and also head to the Facebook gallery or the forum.